hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel today is going to be a comparison video between these two so just get ready sit back and enjoy <music> So guys, I just recently went natural again. Uh, I've cut my hair so many times over the years. Like, I, I don't even know if I can count at this point. Um, so last year, I actually treated my hair. I don't know what exactly I did to it because that, that story is for a different video. But it was not relaxed. It wasn't texturized. It wasn't like, I don't know what it was. I've put a chemical in my hair that I don't know what it was. I know it sounds crazy, but yeah. So basically what it did was it made my hair still have this like a little bit of its texture but then it was a little straight so it was like a kinky straight frizzy curl pattern rather than a coily curl pattern that i naturally usually have um so anyway fast forward a few months ago uh i think in july i cut my hair and i'm back to being natural again in fact today i just did another trim so yeah, it's a wash, as you can see. I've prepped my hair and everything to get ready. But while my hair was texturized, I'm going to say texturized because I don't have any better way to explain it. Um, I My hair really loved Anjaki products. So this is my very first time of actually trying Anjaki on my real, like, natural hair. I've been using um, Aussie Moist, which I also used when I had texturized hair, but that's what I was using. So I recently got these two. Now these are both products that I've used on my my texturized hair, but <laughs> I use them at different times. And I know that my hair really liked both of them. Like I, I don't know for the price, I was like, wow, it's it's cheap and it, it works, and my hair likes it. So yeah, but I didn't really see much of a difference between two of them. I didn't use them at the same time. Like I said, I finished one before I bought another one. I think there was an in between like conditioner I, I might have used before buying the second one anyway. Oh, so I think I got I got this one first and I got this one next but like I can't remember I can't remember what the difference was between them so that's what I'm going to try out today I'm going to try them out both and yeah we'll see what the difference is um the prices are about the same there's like a 50p difference between both of them so this one is a uh, 4.99 and this one is a uh, 4.49 so yeah it's not much of a difference it's for the exact same amount so it's a uh, 4 Ooh, I can't see because of the light. Uh, 436 mil, yeah, 436 mil in both of them. So it's like exact same size, but like 50p different. The ingredients list, both of them have very similar ingredients, just like it, like two or three things are different. And uh, yeah, the, the, the order of the ingredients are kind of different. I think that's about it. They have mostly like 98% the same ingredients, but like in different orders. But yeah, I want to try it out today and see what the difference is in my hair texture, if there is any difference. And yeah, so stay tuned and we'll see that. I've already prepped my hair. I've detangled, it's prepped, it's pre pooed I just want to go wash it and then... Usually I, I would wash my hair in the shower and then apply like deep conditioner in the shower. But because I'm doing this video today and I don't want to take, you know, y'all to the shower with me, what I'm going to do is just you know wash my hair first dry it and then come back here sit here and then you can watch me apply the two of them you can even see how both of them go on my hair if there's any difference in that and stuff first i start off with the fix my hair on what is my right side or your left so the left side of the screen that's fix my hair and immediately i put it on i noticed that it went on smooth um for whatever you would expect for a five pound product anyway I didn't have any complaints about that I, I didn't mind the way it went on you can see the ends of my hair so of the ends are still straight that's the leftover that I I wasn't able to cut maybe all the parts that I forgot and stuff like that because I didn't straighten my hair when I cut it I was just cutting it like freehand so I, I left out some parts and that's the straight ends that you can see there so yeah I'm just smoothing this on my hair and making sure that every single part gets it especially the ends you can see me splitting it and then making sure that every single part of my hair gets some loving. 
even the front i also make sure that my edges get some because you don't want to be bald headed you want to have edges and you want your edges to be strong so i put some on the edges as well as you'll see so the application of this i did mine i like that it was good get those edges girl get them <laughs> Next, I put on the Cocoa Repair. Ooh, and you see me sniffing it. I love the smell. So immediately I smelled it. I just knew that like I just I loved it better than fix my hair. I'm showing you all the difference in texture and the color, both of them. Cocoa Repair just smelled so much better. It smelled like coconut. The fix my hair also smells like coconut, but a lighter smell. The Cocoa Repair is see my reaction oh my gosh the cocoa repair is um, much stronger and I love the smell of coconut I love the smell of coconut so I was pleased with that and yeah my reaction was because it, the cocoa repair just felt so much better it was smoother on the hair it just went on so much better so already just by the smell and the texture I prefer instantly the cocoa repair I'm doing the same exact steps making sure I get to my edges Separate it and make sure every part gets it, you know, all that jazz. Oh, I love the smell and I love the texture of it. So, just by this alone, I'm already kind of biased. And when I tell you all that my hair is, my hair is 4C, low porosity hair. This is what I mean. Have you seen how low porosity my hair is? The product is basically just sitting on my hair. And it's not it's not like a shade to a Jackie product because this is how every product sits on my natural hair. It's kind of like a repellent. Doesn't want that, but I force it to have it anyway. So after I'm done, what I'm gonna do is just put a cap on and then sit. Usually because I'm in a cold place, I sit in front of my heater because that's where I'm gonna be sitting anyway. But if I'm in a warm place, I can back it at home in Nigeria. I just either use my steamer actually, or I just don't use anything. I just cover my hair with a cap and sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. Sometimes more than an hour even, because I forget and I just walk stuff and I just forget that I have something on my head. So yeah, that's why I put on the cap, the two-sided cap. And I'm very, very confident and very happy that it kind of matches what I'm wearing. <laughs> Anyway, so now let's do the final testing. Well, I think I should actually try the back, not the front. But let me try the back, not the front. This is still a little damp. That's still a little damp. Alright, let's try the back. I want to try the back because it is kinkier than the front. So. So let's try the back. So we have Coco Repair on this side, we have Fix My Hair on this side. Hmm. Is there any difference? Um, no. Honestly guys, there is no difference. My hair feels the exact same on both sides. But I will say this, during the rinse off, when I was rinsing them off, the fix my hair definitely felt smoother on my hair. It also felt like it, 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 it coated my hair. That's the way it felt. It felt like my hair was coated. I could almost feel that, like as if there was a... Uh, I know there's protein in this. There's hydrolyzed, uh, I think, keratin or hydrolyzed silk protein. In both of them, there's protein in both of them. I don't know which is higher, but I'm going to assume it's the fix my hair that's higher. So I could immediately feel like the... The, like strength and the, the the shine like it just gave my hair this coat while the cocoa repair was so much softer like I could feel it in the in the shower the, it was just so much softer but now that I've allowed it to like settle they feel the exact same 
but like in the shower so i was rinsing this off like it just felt so smooth and the texture of the cocoa repair is so much smoother and so much it's just so creamy that's the thing it's so creamy if you blindfolded me and like put this two on my head based on the the results on my hair alone i would see no difference like there's no difference but if you blindfolded me and allowed me like to touch it with my fingers that sounds weird but <laughs> i'm just joking i'm just joking um yeah i would notice that the, the texture is, is different because this system is different between these two and the smell the smell is so much different i love the smell of this when you open it, it immediately smells like coconuts this smells a little like coconuts but not as much as this. this this just hits you so i really love the smell of this so yeah guys that would be all like there's still water now that i've released my hair there's a lot of water running down my face but it's fine uh thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe please get me to 1k that's my that's my vision for this year i just want to get to 1k and i need your help so be very 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 helpful to me and just get me to 1k okay mm, by the way comment down below what videos you'd like me to do next i've gotten a request for like a makeup tutorial but like i don't want to i know key don't want to do that because i don't feel like my makeup is that good one and second of all i feel like makeup is like saturated it's so saturated but i will do it just because my subscriber asked me to okay okay i'll see y'all later bye